So, not to show my age, but I was certainly one of the earliest adopters of lateral surgery. Perhaps to even go back further, I trained at Georgetown University. And I believe we were the first neurosurgical program to train on pedicle screws for complex spine usage. This is you know, over 30 years ago, as a junior resident, to decide who would go down the operating room for a simple L4-5 posterior fusion for a you know, grade one spondylolisthesis. You know. That was an eight to 10 hour operation that we would sit there, incision two feet long to fuse a single level. We didn't understand the anatomy. We'd be taking anterior and posterior flat plate x-rays, trying to decide if we had a stymen pin near the pedicle. And I just can't tell you, that, and these patients had overwhelming infections that they would be in the hospital for two months. The failed fusions were just incredible. I think that certainly with the, the historical background of how struggle with lumbar fusions, you would hope that, and I think that most physicians when we have struggles, we think there's got to be a better way of doing it. There's got to be something I can do to improve how I treat my patients. Through my experience with these early nuvasive team members, we started thinking, well, how can we make this better, even this direct lateral approach? So started working on the retractor, started working on the different shape of implants. What type of neurologic changes were we seeing? What do they do to? We started talking about the anatomy, lateral to the spine, the retroperitoneal anatomy. I never thought of the retroperitoneal anatomy in my life. I never looked on a CT or an MR, the, that lateral retroperitoneal anatomy. Now to be a lateral surgeon, we know you have to do that. So it's all you know, little steps, little steps, but they are exciting steps. As far as those relationships between Nuvasiv and the surgeons, really started to coalesce with Solus. I think the first meeting may have been 30 surgeons. And my goodness, we're so excited to be there because we were in the room talking about patient care, understanding what we are trying to do. It's just been a process over the years that's improved year over year over year. Realizing no matter how good we think we are, there's got to be a better way even now to do things. And that's what I find exciting. I think that what lateral surgery, what Exliff taught me is that we can actually do a better job with minimally based techniques than we could with our open. And I remember, you know, someone was asking me some time ago, what was my that aha moment that really brought to light what a great procedure this was? It wasn't in the operating room. First time in my entire career, a patient I operated with a lumbar fusion referred a patient to me. Rather than saying, past back surgery, oh, you never want to have surgery. So now then all of a sudden from that, over the years, what do I see? I get referrals from a neurologist, pain management doctor, family doctor. But you know who refers more patients to me? Patients who've had prior excellence. That says a lot. Think about that. If I look at, again, the, the 20 years of excellence has been the majority of my professional career after my training. And I think in all of that, ARC has been a very positive one. And again, I'm very proud of this relationship.